Hello guys, it's Rachel. What's up? Welcome back. And today we are making some adorable Pusheen brownie pops. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but brownies are one of my all-time favorite recipes. I know they're just really simple because it's just like a chocolate dense cake, but for whatever reason, I love brownies. And a little bit of exciting news, I recently found a new brownie recipe that I am obsessed with. It's so, so good. And so that would be perfect to share it in this video for you guys. And then of course, because it's Koizu World, we're gonna turn them into Pusheen as well. And they're holding like little hearts and donuts and stuff. They're super cute. And before we get started, make sure you tap that subscribe button and turn on those notifications as well. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. To start off in a microwave safe bowl, you'll need one and a half sticks of butter along with one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and then microwave that off at 30 second interval. And just make sure that you stir in between each interval just so everything gets combined nice and evenly. You don't want the chocolate chips to be burning at the bottom of the bowl. So just make sure to give it a stir. That is looking beautiful. So now we're going to transfer this to a separate bowl. And yes, I did get some new mixing bowls. These gold ones are from Target. You guys know I'm such a sucker for anything gold, so you'll probably be seeing these a lot in the future. To our beautiful chocolate mixture, we're gonna add in one and a quarter cups of sugar, along with one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and just give that all a mix up. Then we're going to add in three room temperature eggs and just stir them in one at a time. Perfect. The last step is to toss in one cup of flour and just mix that through to combine. And that is how simple it is to make these brownies. And I promise you, you are going to love them. They're so good, oh my God. And next up, you're going to need your little brownie pop mold. I got this guy off of Amazon and it's not that expensive. So I'll link it over on the blog post. I'll just go ahead and scoop my brownie batter into the mold. And you might notice that there's no leavener in the brownies, which makes them super rich and dense and fudgy. But that also means you'll wanna fill them right to the top because they're not going to rise a whole lot. So just bake them off at 350 for about 30 minutes. And then once they come out of the oven, go ahead and level off the top. And you can see they're super dense and fudgy on the inside. They're incredible. You're gonna love them. And now it is time to decorate. So I'll just grab a popsicle stick and dip that into some melted candy quick, and then just stick that into the brownie pop. Today we're using popsicle sticks because they're a little bit sturdier than cake pop sticks. And since the brownies are denser, I just find that the popsicle sticks work out a lot better. Then once you've got them all on the sticks, we're just gonna grab some white chocolate chocolate chips, dip them in the melted candy quick, and then pop them on the sides. And now it's time to dip them in the candy quick. And I just colored my candy quick with a little bit of black oil-based food color. But just go ahead and dip it straight into the candy coating, twirl it around, and then I just tap my wrist to get off the excess. Then I'll just take some gray royal icing. Recipe for this is over on the blog post. And I'll just pipe on Pusheen's face. So he's got some eyeballs, a mouth, the little three stripes on his head, and some whiskers. Really simple. After you're finished piping out your little Pusheen face, it's time to make him hold some cute stuff. So for instance, you can use some donut sprinkles. I made these in my DIY sprinkle video that I'll link up in the eye in the upper right hand corner. But I'll just stick that on with the candy quick and then make some arms using some more candy coating. So yeah, the arms are technically like coming out of the stomach, but we're not gonna worry about that. He still looks cute. And our little Pusheen brownie pops are finished. I think this is a really fun alternative to cake pops because I personally just love brownies so much, especially this recipe. So I hope you guys enjoy and give them a try. And now that our pops are finished, let's hop into the outro. All right, guys, our Pusheen brownie pops are finished now, and I hope you all enjoy. If you like this video, make sure you tap that subscribe button and turn on those notifications as well. You can also follow me on social media at Koi Sweet Eats, and my last video is linked right down there. All right, well, take care, guys. Love you all so, so much. Wish me luck in college. Midterms are coming up. It's gonna be okay. All right, well, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.